Oh, welcome back. Today's victim for an A stick welder. This is an old one, I would say 60s or 70s, I guess. It even has a battery charge function. Alright. Slow, medium, fast. <laughs> it's crazy. I just noticed that bringing it in here. Well, we paid 10 bucks for this welder at the auction. So, it's 110 degrees outside today, so we are going to tear it apart. Power wires cracking. Being out in the weather, probably. The ground cables are all cracking. Should be good strippable copper, though. Ends of all these wires are brass. Right? They plugged in here to different amperages or whatever setting you wanted it on. So I believe every one of these is going to be brass too. So inside. We'll get the top off, see what it looks like in there. First things first, we gotta cut the wires off. Screws out, eh? Oh. The one on the other side, too. Oh, there it goes. Ooh, it's aluminum. Well, that's good. Oh, whoa. Hmm. Oh. It's gonna be copper. There's aluminum. That one's aluminum. Well that sucks. Well this top one's aluminum, so I guess we'll have to see what these what the main coils down here are. Alright, well, I guess the plan is cut all this wire out. Pretty dusty in here. Get all this stuff out of the way and then see if we can get this shroud. It looks like the shroud, the outside surround, will come up over everything. The rest of it will stand in the middle, but we got to get all these wires disconnected on this front wall. Let's keep our fingers crossed that those bottom ones are copper. If they're not, they're not, I guess. <laughs> things look like they'll come off pretty easy. This is the uh, all the individual 
fittings for the front connections. They should all be brass. And aluminum wire in there. That sucks, but we'll get these wrangled up. Keep them separate. bit on the end here overheating it's not bad bad couple little pieces there Feels like it. Oh yeah. Definitely is not copper. <laughs> Just thicker aluminum. Yeah. Guess we're beat on this one. No copper in there. All aluminum. A couple little tidbits. Well, I guess we'll get the rest of it out of there. This one piece here looks like a solid copper bus bar. 
It's a thin one, but this is aluminum. This piece right here is like copper. That's why it's so hard to cut. Press. Guess we'll double check, make sure all these, oh yeah, make sure they're all aluminum. That one definitely is. That one definitely is. So is that one? How about here? Any copper on here at all? Uh, looks like these it looks like this small wire right here is copper In this area of this transformer <laughs> the rest of it's just aluminum all right I guess we'll cut that off right there might as well while we're here The rest of that's all aluminum. Just this one set of outside windings. Just that little bit.
way. Look at them. Aluminum. These things definitely are brass. That's kind of cool looking. Huh. This is copper, weight, brass. Some brass straps. This one's brass. These are all brass, I think. Aluminum bolt, maybe. Nope, steel. Should have known. It's rusty. A little bit of brass, a little bit of copper, plus we got all the wires to strip still. These electrodes in here are usually copper inside, inside there. Well, this thing was definitely dead. Look at this capacitor all blown out. So, she was definitely scrap. I guess this whole thing here is going to go as irony aluminum. They should take it as that. So that's 10 cents a pound. I don't know how much that thing weighs. It's quite a bit. This thing even did soldering. It's kind of interesting. And the timer... Still works. <laughs> the front portion of this machine is aluminum too. So I'll probably just rip it off of there and get sheet. Pop out these couple gauges. I might keep that one. Just because. Alright. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that little one. Nothing crazy. I have another industrial welder down back. Hopefully that one's copper. I believe it is. We will see. But apparently they were using aluminum even as far back as this goes. Like I said, I guess it's 70s, maybe late 60s. I could be wrong. If anybody knows, put it in the comment section. Fournay, or however you say it. I know they still make welding wire and welding rods. I don't know if they make machines anymore. Maybe they do. Maybe this is a Lincoln branded as a Fournay. I don't know. But anyway, hope you guys had fun. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Scrap life, right? This guy is straight choochin'. Dodge Stratus is about to blow up. I can't tell what it is. You smell it? Last time you were supposed to record because it happened. It yeah, I know. Much longer, Stratus. Not much longer.